Hey fellow target individuals, this is a uh, VW uh, Vulcan Wolverine. I just wanted to make another video tonight. Uh, I made another video and I'm trying to get it uploaded, but I can't right now. Uh, but no matter what it takes, if it takes like going to the library or whatever, I'm going to get it uploaded. I've kind of hit a point in my life... Um, where it's like, if I come to my parents' house, like I can get a little bit of peace. Uh, the guy who is, is running it all, he can remotely hit me here, which is kind of painful. But I get physically away from it. Or I can go to my house, which I've got an aluminum fortress with copper uh, that actually does. It neutralizes the EMF. Um, but there's people, there's another, there's a Latino family on the other side. Um, that are helping him with ground weapons. He has ground weapons that, like, if I go take a bath, he will hit me in the back and the spine, um, you know, with those direct, directed energy weapons directly to me, uh, you know, so he doesn't have to just work with remote weapons. Um, I think the thing is, like, it's better to stay over at my parents' house, um, you know, if I'm not going to sleep for a long time, if I want to go to sleep for more than like, you know, if I want to go to sleep for the night, then I go to my aluminum fortress, which he can kind of hurt me in, but hurt me the less of anywhere in the world. And I made a video tonight. It's just, this thing has been in my mind and in my soul, and I've been looking up things about it. And it's just like um, Green Bank, West Virginia. Uh, has a radio telescope. There's no Wi-Fi there. They have you can get internet. You have a house phone or whatever, but they can't get you know they can't even make digital pictures or have um, you know uh, satellite phones because those radio signals are not allowed in a 13,000 square mile uh, vicinity. And it's in America. It's in Green Bank, West Virginia. I mean, it's in it's in America. It's pretty close by. It's over on the east, you know, on the east, uh, near the east coast. Uh, like, I, in my heart, uh, this is something that could save us all because the thing is, there were like 110 people living there, and then now there's 150 people living there because 40 people are people like us who are EMF sensitive. They said, or EMF hypersensitive or EMF allergic um, to it. But what I think those people actually had going on is I think they had people attacking them with microwave weapons or EMF crap, and they didn't even know it. Because, like, I know one thing about this guy, and I'll tell you, um, the, the whole goal is to attack you and make you feel sick and blah, 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 without you knowing. Because... When I did figure it out that they were attacking me in my new house, like two two sets of people had done it to me, and then this new set of people had done it to me. But when I figured it out, when I was like, oh, uh, went on the other side of the house, and then these other people from the other side were doing it to me, like that I heard the young man talking in the backyard to the older man who was running this thing. And he was a lot different before this, like before... These two and a half years, when it first started, he was a lot different. Like, a lot different. But I uh, heard him in the backyard saying, you know, it's okay. You know, and the guy, the young the young man was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I let him know. You know, that was a big thing to just to just keep the, the high-pitched sound going, to keep me sick, to make me not know. Um, and I realize that when I hear some of these people, they're like, well, I'm EMF uh, allergic. And I think they're being attacked. Uh, even one of the guys, I got put into a psychiatric unit. I'm not going to hide that. Um, people don't believe this stuff. You say EMF, energy, you say microwave weapons, you say any of that stuff, and you're going to be put into a psychiatric unit. Because what our psychiatric, uh, like, uh, the whole system is set up to do is to judge normalcy. So you got this big, bizarre fucking thing happening, and it doesn't matter. Like, people aren't going to believe you. People aren't going to believe it. They're going to, you're bizarre. They judge normalcy. So it doesn't matter if it's true or not. 
And my first psychiatrist was the best, and I don't talk to him anymore. He actually believed me, but he said I was still delusional because not enough people believed it. And that is basically what you're going to get. Um, but basically what they want to do is they want to hurt you without you even knowing it. Like put high-pitched sounds in your ears without you knowing it. Make you sick, hurt your body. Um, the young kid like in the, in the Latino household was like, I'm sorry, I let him know. And now it's like two and a half years from that point of when they first start doing it in that house, like all together, all the time, every night, all night. It's, it's never stopped all night. Like he must get people uh, to kind of come in and do it. You know, they they take their little, you know, it's their, their turn to torture. Um, and it's interesting because in the Latino household, the young guy has moved away. He's moved away. He didn't want to do it anymore. But they've constantly gotten new people in there who do do want to do it. And to me, like, to to me, I, in context, it's like, yeah, that's understandable how it's looked. It's like, oh, wow, that guy wanted to not do this anymore. Now, to my parents, to regular people, it looks like, oh, they're just new people moved into there. You're saying they're doing the same thing? Not at all. So I know what, what, what the situation is. I know how I look. I look completely insane i'm saying people are hitting me with emf and then i have to block it with aluminum foil uh to even get like a close to a good night's sleep close to a good night's sleep i mean like if i didn't put any of that aluminum foil above me and i'll show you my aluminum fortress after this video i'm gonna put a few videos up because i've they've started to i guess that they've started to stop watching me putting them up and stop stopping them um but i put up layers of aluminum and i get close to a good night's sleep because when you go to sleep they target it on you for hours for hours to your neck to your to your throat to your eyes to your genitals and it's like even if you have barricades of aluminum they sit there and try and find a hole to put it through and it's like this guy feels like he has a lot of power because he can do that, you know. Because if I say anything, if I say anything, he doesn't call the cops. Can't call the cops because some of the cops are actually complicit. They know he's doing something. Uh, he can't call the cops, so he calls my dad. He calls my dad and says that, uh, you know, I'm scary. I Like, things that he shouldn't be able to hear inside of my house. He'll call my dad and say... You need to come do something about your son. You know, so my dad and my brother, they're like, yeah, this guy's just a regular guy. He's throwing his stuff out in his backyard. He like like his his uh, daughter's tricycles. Like he hasn't cut down this tree. Like he's making it look like he's the hick from hell who can't take care of anything while he's doing this. He is gaslighting, and he's very smart. He's very smart, and he's gaslighting in a very, in, like, effectual way. Um, it's cowardly to me. To me, it's cowardly. It's like you're hitting somebody from your house, and then you're trying to look smart like you didn't do it. And I'm done. Like, I'm done. And in my other videos, it'll show that I'm done. And I found a promised land. I found 13,000 square miles of radio-free zone, quiet zone in uh green bank west virginia and i love saying that name green bank it's got to mean something there are 150 people living there and 40 of them are people like us who were emf just they're gonna die from it probably didn't know they were being attacked a lot of them probably were being attacked i feel like this is the beginning of something um like, I want to be there, and I want to be there for y'all when y'all get there. I want to be there for, for targeted individuals who come and are trying to start their life over. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what this means. I just know that it is a huge area where they can't do this. They can't have even satellites. They can't have whatever. If they have... Uh, drones over it, they can't do it because it'll mess up the radio satellite that's way more important than whatever they're doing. 
And that's what I've learned, that, that there's always a bigger dog, there's always a bigger dog in the fight. And I guess you just got to find that, because there's no way I was, I mean, what, I go over to this guy's house, I say, hey man, okay, I just want to, I want to work it out for y'all. I want to be kind of entertaining, so y'all watch my videos, because I have some really good information on my videos that could save us. Uh, but I want to be kind of, I want to be, so you'll, so you'll watch them. And and you'll you'll get people to to watch them too. Okay, so I go over to this guy's house and I'm like, hey, stop shooting me with microwave weapons. Just come on, you shoot me with microwave weapons, hurt me. I'm screaming, I'm yelling. He's like, what are you talking about, man? What are you you're talking about microwave weapons? You're scaring me more. You're scaring me more. And he's already called my dad and he's already said, hey. Uh, your son, you need to do something about him because he's scaring my family. So I go over there and I ask him to stop in a, in a gentlemanly, let's stop murdering me way. Stop murdering me. I'll get out of your life. You get out of my life. I'll live my life, my my house peacefully. There's no way to do it. There's no way to do it. He has created a situation where there's no way at all to do it. There's no way at all to do it. He'll call my sick dad who had an aneurysm who... Okay, hey, let's back further down the rabbit hole. Who had an aneurysm, and it's like, either way, either way, if, if they didn't cause this aneurysm with the microwave shit, they stressed the guy out, so he had an aneurysm. They stressed him out by the stuff they were doing to me. He loves me. Like, my dad is a good man. He wants to do good things and take care of his family. And I'm sure, like, they stress him out. Like, they, they hit me with microwaves, and I come in after going through Crohn's disease and surgeries and, like, real stuff, come in, uh, there's a guy microwaving me. He's microwaving me with EMF. What would that do to a regular man? Like, what would that do to a regular man? Would that give him an aneurysm? Like, I kind of think that they probably put the microwaves on his head, the high pitch sounds on his head, and accidentally gave him my, uh, an aneurysm, like a microwave aneurysm. I just say this because, like, when he had an aneurysm and he was looking at me helplessly, uh, he, they were shooting me in the nuts with microwave radiation, with EMF. Like, I, I just tell you these things not to scare you, but to tell you how deep it is. To tell you how, when somebody can be anonymous and do something, how sick it can get. How sick it can get. Like, some normal human being trying to live their normal human life, trying to get a normal human job has nothing to do with them and now I am like his sworn enemy in the neighborhood like people know that he hates me and they will hate me for him and they're like this guy is crazy and we got to get him out of his house have you ever heard of that have you ever heard of an American um, in their private property and people around them uh, one guy decides he doesn't like him. one sick man who is murderous decides he doesn't like him and he goes around and he says I'm military listen I don't want this guy in this house he smoked pot before and we need to go ahead and get him out of this house and they said well how are we going to get him out of this house well we'll microwave him we'll microwave him we'll hurt him and we'll hurt him so bad he has to get out of there oh wait 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 and then this let's add this and He's not going to be able to get out of there because after he gets out of there, I'm going to remotely hit him, follow him to the next place he goes, make sure that the next place he goes, he's still being microwaved and hit, and we're going to go ahead and do this until he's very, very sick or dies. Have you ever heard that in your life? That's what's happening to me. That's what's happening to all of y'all. Like, and I know... I know everybody who's watching this who's a targeted individual who's being hit by microwaves remotely and not remotely on the ground, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And everybody else is like, this guy is fucking paranoid schizophrenic. My parents, who have always trusted me, like, I'm a great case. Like, I really am a great case. Because my parents, like, I've gone through Crohn's disease, and, like, I've, I've gone to Catholic High, I'm smart, I'm intelligent, I've never had delusions. I never will have delusions in my life. I'm a great case for this because my parents think I'm delusional. 
my mom, I sat there and I said, dude, this guy is hitting me with EMF and is murdering me and I got to figure out how to get out of there somehow, out of that house, help you sell the house, help you uh, because this is a horrible situation. She looked at me like a mom and it looked like we were having a conversation. The next day I came back and she was she was talking to my doctor, who is like a uh, psychiatrist in practice, telling him that I'm off my medication because I said something about being off of an antidepressant that he just put me on, like thinking that she's helping because she thinks I'm insane. Like this is horrifying, horrifying. It's a mess. It's like I'm not insane, not insane at all. I I have to take medicine because of this, which uh, the actual antipsychotics are actually poisonous. They're poisonous for people who don't need them. I mean, it's like it hurts your body. Like, if you do need them, keep taking them. And that's why I'm finished. You hear me talking. You hear You hear how complicated it's getting. And my friends are like, don't complicate it. Get a girlfriend. Talk to your girlfriend, go to eat, get a job. You And you heard all that crap that I just said, how complicated that was. And when I talked to my mom, I, th I thought I was talking to my mom, and I was like, Mom, this is what's going on, and I'm trying to survive. And I've always, because I've had Crohn's, I've had challenges that you, you wouldn't believe. But they were easy, easy, because they were straight up. It was straight up Crohn's disease, everybody knew about it. Boom, bam, boom, I'm fighting it. Boom, everybody's around me. They know exactly what I'm fighting. I, I talk to them. They talk to me. It's not complicated. This is not straight up. And so, I mean, so when you come to your house the next day, you realize it's too complicated. This is what I'm saying. You realize it's too complicated. When you come to your parents' house the next day, your mom's on the phone with a psychiatrist, and he's a great guy. But he's a practicing psychiatrist. A practicing psychiatrist. And she's telling him, I'm off my medication. And he, like, he's probably going to have to get, you know, a, a, an elder psychiatrist in there. And it's like, you know, she is probably the person who cares the most about me. Doing the worst thing for me. That's how complicated it is. That's how complicated my life is. The person that cares about me the most, and I care about them the most, we are fighting each other without even without even trying to fight each other. Trying to help each other, and we're fighting each other. So that's why I say Green Bank, West Virginia. That's why I say these, these crazy ideas. This guy's not going to stop. He doesn't care. Like He knows. He watches. Like You know they surveil you. He watches my dad with the aneurysm. He watches my mom. He watches her go through stress. He watches me. I'm supposed to be helping her. Like, I'm brilliant. I can make videos. I can do grants. Like, I can help cancer patients. I can help cancer patients thousands and thousands of dollars. And he's fighting me on that. He's hitting me in the head with microwaves. Nobody will believe me on that. He knows that. He knows nobody will believe me on that. Nobody can believe anybody's that evil. And, and my mom can't, and my dad can't. And you see how complicated it is. You see how I've just made a 20-minute video that is so complicated, nobody can believe that. Only targeted individuals could ever believe anything about that. And I'll never go crazy. Like, I'll never go crazy. I love my parents too much. I love people too much. I love his, his wife and his daughters are good people. They're not bad. He uses them for all this crap, but they're not involved. He doesn't have his wife there going, yeah, let's fuck this guy up with microwaves. His wife is like, leave him alone, leave him alone. She's trying to do the best she can. She's a good person. Like, this is complicated because humans are complicated. There are evil people. There are people trying to make it through. There are really good people, you know? And that's why I wanted to make this video because it is complicated. Like, I've had a long, long night. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. I've stayed up all night. Because usually what I do is I watch movies all night. I watch horror. I've been watching horror movies. Like, I don't like horror movies. But I've been watching horror movies because 
this guy has dragged me down into a place where I want to watch Wrong Turn and watch some people eat each other because this is what this guy's doing to me. It feels like that. It feels like that sometimes. But I know I'm smart. I know I'm smart and I know I'm not going to go crazy. And if I do go crazy, like, it'll be a good crazy. It, I'll still have my intellect to make these videos and talk about it and talk about it in a way where everybody will understand it. So I'm not too worried. I mean, I'm worried because I want to live a regular life. I want a wife. I want kids. I want my parents. Like, if I had a grandbaby, like a wife and a grandbaby, my mom would be sky high. She doesn't even know that. Like, she says that because, like, she'll say, like, oh, I'll have a grand dog because I have a dog. And, and she, she acts happy. She acts like she's happy because she loves me. But I love my family so much. And this is really happening. And I just want a regular life. I just want to give my parents the things that they worked for their whole life. And they worked for two great kids, me and my brother. And we're great kids. Good kids. We're not bad. We're not walking around. We're not trying to kill people. We don't have master plans to bomb anything. We're not enemies of America. That's what I want. I want to give my mom that, especially. I know my dad, he's so strong. He would find a way to make it to make it good, even if it didn't happen. And I hear my dog I hear my mom say, Oh, we'll just have a dog, grandbaby. She wants a grandkid. She wants... What What do other grandmothers want? And this guy, all I can think of it, like I hear him on the on the V2K. And I know, if you don't know what V2K is, and just, you know, erase this part out of your mind. I hear him on the V2K, and he says, I gotta do it. It's gotta be done. I gotta do it. Fuck this guy. Um, it's, it's very military, it, it doesn't have any emotion, uh, I, I, I wanna, I wanna give my mom the things that she wants, like, like, she is a great lady, she helps cancer, she's been in Red Cross, she's so good, she's a good person, and listen to what I'm talking about. That's not how complicated it sounds. And it's real. It's all real. EMF frequencies by this guy who has military training. Who is targeting me while I sleep. While I sleep. And you can believe whatever you want about that. And most people don't believe it. Because I guess it's a defense mechanism. It's a psychological defense mechanism. That's fine. It's true. It's true, and I'm trying to figure out, okay, well, I go to Green Bank, West Virginia for a year, would all this, they, they got a bunch of weapons stacked up against me, would they have to, like, throw those out, would they be waiting for me when I get back? The thing is, the thing is that it's a good thing, you don't have to buy a trailer, you don't have to go buy property, this is an area where you can go get a hotel, I mean, you can, and go there for two weeks and see if it works out. That's the cool thing. This is a solution for all of us that's so less expensive than the psychiatric ward, that's so less expensive than going to the emergency room, that's so less expensive than anything. Just going to Green Bank, West Virginia, getting a hotel room, go getting on an airplane and doing that, getting your family to help you with some money to do that. Like, that would be the best thing for me, to know that all you guys who are in pain, even if you're in California or whatever, and I mean, I know all over the world, this is the thing. Right now, because I've researched that, and that is definitely 13,000 square miles of radio free zone. There's those kind of radio, um, radio satellites all over the world. There are some there was one that I think is in Puerto Rico, Arecibo, Puerto Rico, and I've heard of people going to Puerto Rico, this place, and feeling safe. Arecibo, Puerto Rico. You study that thing. 
The only thing I know that, that is sure is this thing, people stop experiencing EMF stuff. Like EMF, um, you know, sickness or, um, you know, I love the term, um, I love the term, um, uh, what is it? I love the term allergies, allergic to it, you know. God, I, I don't know, making this video, I feel, I feel good and I feel strong, like, I was at the end, I was at the end, this guy had me for a week or two weeks, he had me for a week or two weeks, I had aluminum over me, he had the high pitch sound, me and my dog were, we would all night long be twisting and turning, and he'd have me in the chest, and I, I thought that was it, I was like, this is it. This is it. This guy's got me. He's going to make me look crazy and kill me at the same time. And now I'm in a totally different place. Like, I'm moving around. Like, I put more defenses in my home where he's not getting me. Um, and then... Hope. Like, hope. Like, Green Bank, West Virginia, where you can't be hit remotely. You can't be hit remotely. They can't do it. They can't do it legally. They can't do it militarily. They can't do it. They can't do it. That's hope. That's hope. We all need hope. Because this is hopeless. This is some shithead with uh, EMF frequencies killing us in our home and saying we gotta go. And then following us to the next place. So, Green Bank, West Virginia. Let's all study it. All the people who are making videos, I know you're out there, I've seen your awesome videos, um, so you guys, you fucking guys who are, are girls and guys who are making videos about this EMF and about being targeted individuals, spread this information, like, study it, really study it and make a video about it, study Study Green Bank, West Virginia. Tell what you think about it. Facts, false, whatever. And put some videos out. Because this is important. Get the word out. Get the word out. I'll be putting many more videos out. Many more videos out. And trying to get the word out. Um, I haven't been there for a while. Um, I'm going to be making videos. I'm kind of a poster boy. And I do want to tell y'all, like I do want to tell y'all, it's gotten me in more trouble. It's gotten me in more trouble in the city that I live in. More people know about it. There's more vehicular harassment. Um, I'm not sure if the guy's been given more microwave weapons. Uh, it's gotten me in trouble that I've made the videos. They don't want the information going out. And I thought like, oh, I'm just going to put videos out. It's just a good thing. And I didn't really connect it to what they're doing, but yeah, you want to put videos out to help people, they're going to try and fucking, you know, shoot some microwaves at your head to kill you in your sleep, and and that's, that's what they do, I mean, that's what he's been doing from the start, and I just want to say that for true, I don't want to lie and say it's been an easy road, and that's kind of why I stopped making videos, because I was like, I didn't, I didn't think he'd lay off, you know, because they try and use any excuse, but, um, I, I mean, they really, the vehicular, the vehicular harassment and the, uh, chemtrails, the chemtrails with the actual Air Force and Sheriff's Department vehicles around, um, those things actually, actually really increased. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm in it. I'm in it like this. And there is a place we can go. Like, that's that's the thing that gives me so much hope. It, my, my situation is so bad. You can't imagine. I go out in the morning, and I have one like cars. And I have a coroner vehicle caravan in me. And I have, like, a couple of city police cars driving around me. And some sheriff's cars. And, you know, I don't even know some places I go. I don't know if they're trying to be mean to me. I'm... I'm a pretty nice guy, so it kind of, I think a lot of it just kind of blows off and it bounces off and stuff like that, which is what everybody needs to try to do, just be a nice person, just treat everybody like they're not doing it. Um, 
but uh, it definitely has. It's increased. I mean, and it was really bad to start with. It was really bad to start with. And I know that sheriff's cars have had this crap in it, have had microwave weapons. Like, I've been walking down the street with a canine unit, a uh, sheriff's vehicle, and my leg started feeling like it had so much pressure on me. Um, it's just like a new taser or something like this. We've got to fight, and we got to lead. I mean, and, and don't feel like a, don't feel, this is what I feel like. I feel like I've watched so many movies I've read so many Spider-Man comic books and Wolverine comic books and Wolverine movies, Spider-Man movies, and you've got to be strong and you've got to be a hero and you've got to defend your home. With this, there's, there is intelligent and doing the right thing, and then there is like trying to defend your home and letting them make you look like a villain. So if there's a place to go, Green Bank, West Virginia... And study this because, like, I've just looked at a few things. I haven't researched it completely and gotten all up in it. Like, I haven't gotten all up in it where I could be like, that's the place to go. But I have a feeling in my heart and a feeling from God. And I'm praying to Jesus and I'm, I'm researching it. And it's like like 30 of the people who live there out of the 140 are us. You know, they're, they're people like us, and they're like, wow, my life has changed. I don't feel that anymore. So why not? Why not move there? If our lives are horrible, like, it sucks that we'd have to move away from our family and all that stuff, but it may not be forever. It may not be forever, and we may be refugees from a modern world. And we wouldn't be living in war every day. We'd be living a good life. Where <laughs> Go get a job. You Go get a job at the West Virginia Hallmark or... I don't know. I don't even care. It's like I can't get a job here. Like I have so many things lined up where it's like for my intelligence level, um, like I should be able to do it. This guy can remotely hit me within a workplace that I go into. So what's that? Dude, I don't care. If I can go to West Virginia, Green Bank, West Virginia, and get a job that's a lot less than that and, and have somebody who he can't hit me remotely. I can enjoy my job and help people and make a little bit of money and like figure out a life and then let this blow over or let people figure this out because people will figure this out. Like people are good. Like anonymously, people are major the majority is bad. There's like 20% who really wants to see people do good. Then there's like a bell curve of people who are kind of in the middle. Then there's about 30% or 20% who want to see people die and do bad. And usually the people who are in that bell curve who don't care are sucked up by those bad people. I don't know why they're not sucked up by the good people. The people who want to see people do good. But, um, but it usually just happens that way. And... Uh, it's a, it's a it's a fight, but we gotta fight it in a different way. We can't punch anybody. You can't go shoot your neighbor. You can't do this. And I and I, there was a girl. There was a young girl who was like, "Well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to shoot my neighbor." You're like he's hit me with microwaves. I'm gonna go shoot him. And I've had that thought. I've had that thought. Like that's the only thing I can do. I'm an American. I've got to you know protect my rights. I'm not gonna do that. Even when I've said it, like in my house, I haven't meant it. Um, you know, the, the Navy Yard shooter was a victim of ELF and EMF. He did, she shot a bunch of random people who may not even been doing it to him. And I, I don't know, I think that's what these guys want. Like, what these guys are doing, they want you to shoot a bunch of random people and look crazy. So, anything you can do against them violently, they, they like that. They like that. They, if you shot them in the head, they would love that. They'd be like, hey! So, don't do it. So don't do it. It's not worth it. We're not going to do it. We're not violent. Uh, we can't prove it. Um, there's laws that are binding us. Let's do peaceful stuff. Let's do peaceful but violent. That's that's my whole thing. Like, okay, if, if you can't... Okay, I'm not going to go over to this guy's house and shoot him. I'm not going to kidnap his family. His family's good. His family's really nice. And he has kidnapped them pretty much. He's holding them hostage. If I can't do something where it's like, like a Wolverine, you know, fucking fighting people and getting them out of my way, 
I'm going to do something really smart where I can be like, yeah, mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And I think that I'm doing that right now. I think that I'm finding that right now, and we all need to discover that. You all need to research this. You're smarter than me. Go ahead and research it. Let's put a lot of comments up. Let's do videos. If you feel strong enough to do a video about Green Bank, West Virginia, make that video. This is a place 13,000 square miles of a radio free zone. You can still have the internet. You can have it in. You can have a home phone. You can still have things. It's not like you're, you're not going to be living in Amish country. But no Wi-Fi, no stuff, no signals floating around like this that can burn your body. Um, 35 minutes here. Um, I'll be making a lot of videos before this because uh, I just I want to tell you I want to tell y'all and I want y'all to kind of come back at me. So I mean I'm in my parents' house. This guy he hits me in the throat. He hits me in the body and it's it's, it's better. It's better, but I'm at my parents. I'm across town. I am, let's see, about 15 minutes away. 15, 10, 10 to 15 minutes away from my neighborhood where he's doing this to me. And he's got equipment where he can just get it over here, satellite or drone, and hit me in the chest, hit me in the neck. And there's no life in that for me. I, I, I can't, like, if I got a job at Office Depot, he could hit me there. He could talk to people there since he's military and make me look bad. Um, we got to fight in the right way. We got to fight in the right way. And I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. It's more important than this black. I, I have been in a black hole, and I'm going to tell you all the truth, like, because I, I couldn't make videos. I couldn't make videos and talk to y'all. Because he had gotten into all my computers, and um, that's where they want you. They want you alone. They want you shoot. They want shooting microwaves through your head so they get a reaction. They want you alone, isolated, and they can be like, "Oh, look, this person's crazy." They, they, that's that's what they work off of. Um, my hair is super long. I don't even have enough money to get a, a good business haircut, but I will. I uh, love all you guys. God bless you. Um, God bless you in your fight. God bless you. Don't give up. We're far from over. It's far from over. Like, I have been, like, where I've slept for eight hours, and I wake up, my genitals are sore, my throat is sore, and I have to, it takes me 30 minutes to get up. I want to tell you all the horrible places I've been. Because I know some of y'all are there. Those are the people that I really care about. I really care about you. You matter so much. Uh, there are solutions. There are solutions for your life. You don't have to sit there and take it forever. Even if your family's there and you, and you gotta go to Green Bank, West Virginia for a year. And get up in a hotel and maybe get a little job. And, and just be free of it all. How bad is that? How bad is that? I'm not talking about $24,000, $1,300 a day, psychiatric units where they're going to throw you. I'm not talking about police stations. I'm talking about if you can get enough people who care about you, and, and I care about you, and I'll start building up money. Uh, I don't know what I'm, I'm going to do. I don't have a lot of means right now. I wish I could build up enough money to send all of us there to a hotel and we could all meet and talk about what we've been experiencing and just put it in a book. Just put it in a book. Like all of us, we'll write a chapter on our own experiences. How much money could we make? A ton of money in, in, in Green Bank, West Virginia. Uh, I love all of you. God bless you. Um, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. By the name of Jesus and Jesus' blood, I'll be making a lot more videos. I'll be trying to study this stuff. Y'all study it. Study it.
because like I'm not a good studier. Like I look at stuff quick. Um, please, I know there are a lot of good studiers out there. Study at Green Bank, West Virginia. Why will this work? Why, why would it not work? Let's study what we're being hit with. Why would it not work there? Let's study this stuff. If this is a war and we can go to a place of peace, let's do it. Let's do it. All our families, they we owe it to them. I love you. I love you all. Hang in there because it's not so hopeless anymore. And it never has been. If 40 people are there and they figure it out, well, all of us can figure it out. We could fucking... I'm sorry. We could we could get that place full of 2,000, you know, <laughs> 2,000 people and do what we want, man. Make a job. We could make jobs there. Just who cares? Who cares what we do there? It's farm country. We could do whatever. All right, guys. I love you. I love you so much. God loves you. God bless you. Good night. I love you. Hang in there. It's coming. It's coming. Hang in there. No matter how much pain you're experiencing, hang in there. Block yourself as much as you can. Study Green Bank, Virginia. West Virginia. Just go there for two weeks. Find somebody who can help you get there for two weeks. If you're hurting so bad, you feel like you're going to die and these guys are going to kill you, try and get there for two weeks. I love you. I love you. I love you.